Hey guys, so today we're doing a slightly, I'm, I'm a little bit behind on this topic. I'm trying my best here. Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell. Mainly Sydney Sweeney because that's who I care about. Like I'm not trying to put the whole blame on her. I just think she makes this story interesting. And also have never seen a single thing with Glenn Powell. Actually, I'm lying. Wait, Glenn Powell's in something I found out recently. Oh, Scream Queens. Small role though, so it doesn't really matter. No shade to Glenn Powell, you know? I just love Sydney Sweeney. I liked Euphoria for a bit. I need to see White Lotus. That's just something I've never seen. And all of you are gonna hate me for it. So Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell are doing a movie together, which is actually an adaptation of Shakespeare's Much Ado About nothing and the movie adaptation is going to be about two people that are pretending to fall in love and then fall in love that's it so it's kind of interesting how these are now two actors that are pretending to be in love for a movie that allegedly are falling for each other in real life and it's causing some issues because they're both in separate relationships or at least were let's get into it sydney and glenn are playing the two lead characters of course they were both in relationships before they went into this movie. I'm just looking for the pictures because I want to jog my memory about everything going on. Glenn has a girlfriend called Gigi Paris and she's like uh, an Instagram model, kind of an influencer type of person, very beautiful. Never heard of her before this, but I also didn't hear about Glenn Powell. So <laughs> that's about as far as my knowledge goes. Sydney has actually a fiance from like about a year ago. I think they got engaged last year or sometime the year before that. So they've been engaged for a while, which would insinuate that wedding would be coming soon. And instead we're getting some shade. What has happened is Gigi was allegedly following Sydney on Instagram because when Sydney posted that they were going to be doing this movie, Gigi had commented under that with like hearts. And like, why would you seek out someone's account to leave hearts under their picture if you're not gonna be following them? So clearly Gigi was following her before this. Then Gigi comes on set. This movie's being filmed in Australia, bear in mind Glenn and Sydney are both from America. And Gigi comes for two weeks during the filming to see what's happening on set. You know, she's hanging out with her boyfriend. She's hanging out with his boyfriend's co-stars. Like she's having fun. She gets back from Australia and unfollow Sydney Sweeney. That would insinuate that she saw stuff, heard stuff, felt vibes that were just off, right? Because why else would you unfollow your boyfriend's colleagues when you're already following them mid him still being at work? Like that's awkward, right? So there was clearly a reason for this. So if you're already starting to debate now, why did Gigi unfollow Sydney? what's going on now while all of this is happening there are pictures coming out some more sus than others but now in the context i think all of them are quite sus so there's these ones glenn powell and sydney sweeney between takes yep something's brewing over there which to be fair this could be them during filming but at the same time all of this like laughing doesn't look like it would be for the movie because it looks like they're just like laughing a lot at each other's jokes maybe this is while they're filming but it kind of looks almost in between takes like the take finishes and they're still like laughing inside jokes still holding on to each other it's almost like if they were really respectful to their significant others as the director says cut they wouldn't keep on like holding on to each other they'd be like oh right yeah that was fun make some inside joke move on like whatever but they're lingering in the character positions if that makes sense then there's this one that the person that tweeted about this is like a whole thread of sydney and glenn they say i mean and it's them just going to the zoo together feeding a giraffe together him putting his arm around her like this is not from the movie and if i saw my boyfriend in these like if i just inserted my boyfriend into these pictures like break up immediate you know like this is just unacceptable them doing some kind of tour on um, australia together posing in these pictures as if they're literally a five-year-old couple why is my dryer going off in this current exact moment? Why is it always as I'm filming that the dryer is like, hey, I'm done. You wanna grab the stuff or not? And I know it's gonna go off again because it does this thing which goes off again. Anyway, then the tweet is, and always next to each other in every occasion, sus me thinks, which look, it's completely fine when you're on set and you're spending like six months sometimes with these fellow actors, right? They're going to spend time outside of filming, usually in big groups. They'll be doing bonding activities, dinners together, yada yada. But why are Sydney and Glenn always next to each other? Like they're always together. You would think that she would have some pictures taken with some other colleagues and he would be in pictures with some other colleagues and then they would be in pictures together because they're, they're bonding with everyone equally. Instead, we're getting these romantic little pictures. Oh, and the family bonding day. This is really where I drew the line because this is where I drew the line. All my life, it's over for them. So they did a little, little family day. Glenn's whole family came to Australia just, I mean, I think it was after Gigi left or maybe, I don't know. And they went to the zoo together. So these zoo pictures were actually from them at the zoo together. And she's literally posing with his whole family. They're doing these tours of Sydney. And I'm just like, 
This is inappropriate. Like, this is just inappropriate. I don't know what else to say. She says, inseparable, huh? They're sitting together on the plane. She's laying across their laps, but her head is next to Glenn's head. Um, she's always, like, hugging him. And then there's this video. They were doing an interview, and he, like, flips her over his knee. And she's wearing a very... I don't know how... Much... She put a lot of trust into her dress. I'm hoping she was using, like, um, fashion tape. Because any slight movement in this situation, and it's just like nipples galore. Like I'm hoping she was using a nipple cover or not like nipples are a big deal, but um, a lot of trust in this dress. He flips her over his knee and she's just like, ah, you know, super romantic. Once again, I'm saying romantic, but they have different significant others. Like this would be cute if he was doing it with Gigi Paris. No. This video is really where I drew the line. I was like, uh-uh. All of this physical contact and for what? It also depends on your love language. My love language is physical contact. So I'm looking at this and I'm like... Love language? Like, love. It's in the name. Let's not do that. Now, now, release those wrapped party photo booth pics with just the two of you. I knew you guys took it. And they're doing these booth picture... Third time? I'm right here. And these photo booth pictures, um, I bet they took some pictures alone. You're telling me they've done all of this hugging and stuff in between filming and takes and they didn't take some alone photo booth pictures? I don't know. Guys, it's now in real life and this is also like a crazy bit of the story. They did this red carpet event together. It wasn't really a red carpet, it was just a carpet. And some interviews, promo of this movie. This video I'm gonna play for you guys. Uh... The whole experience was absolutely yeah. incredible. We we get to literally take over Australia. It's mm -hmm. like this movie is the like the tourism board of Australia just gave us carte blanche on anything we wanted in Truly, the whole place. So we could do anything. It was so much fun. We was one there was one day where we were literally uh, took over the Sydney Opera House and that was that was pretty epic. And Barack Obama watched us film a scene. Yes, he did. That was pretty memorable. And Glenn landed a helicopter and yeah. jumped out of it. It was really cool. There we go. And that was just improv. I just didn't even the helicopter wasn't even planned. <laughs> I have a lot of questions. It's almost as if the interviewer shouldn't even be there. It's like the interviewer is intruding on a personal moment between them. We're intruding on a personal moment between them. And also they're not really answering the questions. They're just kind of like doing these inside jokes. Oh, what was your favorite bit about Australia? Oh my God, like when Sydney for the first time saw this. And it, he's talking about it as if he's like experiencing these things for the first time with his like wife. He's like, oh my God, I love seeing my wife experience this part of a Sydney. It's like, I feel like I'm intruding. Like I feel like I shouldn't be here. The way Sydney looks at him, the awe in her eyes. It's like the emoji with the love hearts eyes, but in real life, that's Sydney. She's like madly in love with him. There is also the fact that Glenn allegedly has a lot of chemistry. That's the word I was looking for. With all of his co-stars. There was one with, what is her name? There's a video of him doing a challenge with a fellow co-star and the way he looks at that co-star is also a little bit like loaded. Let me know what you guys think. I have it, I have it. No, wait, let's have it. Stop, 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 just count it, count it. I have 33, which is one more than you did, even after you stole my red M&Ms. So guess what? Fine. You have been mother trucking served. It's true. So it just seems like there's a lot of chemistry. And the general consensus on Twitter right now is real Hollywood is back. Because a lot of cheating used to happen at these romance movie sets. Andrew and Jolie, Brad Pitt, that happened. Jennifer Aniston wasn't too happy about it. And this happens a lot. Well used to happen a lot when Hollywood was at its like prime and it's been kind of falling off for a bit. I'm seeing some of that had to do with the pandemic and you know, streaming services taking over. So the whole Hollywood bit isn't kind of all there. And this for some people is the resurrection of Hollywood. I think this is the resurrection of cheating and infidelity. That's it. Like I don't really need my favorite actors to cheat on their partners to prove to me how committed they are to filming a romance movie. I just need them to film the movie and move on with their lives. Someone said Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell are not having an affair because two people who are secretly sleeping together would stand a hundred feet apart and struggle to make eye contact, not gush over each other with their faces two inches apart on national television. And people are saying that while Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt were cheating on their significant others, they were standing 5,000 feet apart at the red carpet events and they weren't making it that obvious so it was more of a surprise i don't know we can see the chemistry the chemistry is clearly there so that's it we're seeing it with our own two eyes like anyway that was my little thought let's go back to Gigi paris for a bit Gigi unfollows sydney on instagram and then she starts posting stuff i actually couldn't find this anywhere and i don't know where it is it's been like wiped off the internet but Gigi paris reposted i believe dumois post or did i see it on dumois and i forgot to screenshot it dumois was somehow involved in this this feels like a fever dream to me because i can't find it anywhere 
And I'm starting to like doubt myself, doubt my own two eyes. I mean, yeah, I wasn't wearing glasses when I saw it, but I'm not like, you know, I can see things in general. Anyway, Gigi reposted on her Instagram story, something about trusting your intuition and trusting your like gut instincts essentially and i was already thinking like oh she went to sydney and maybe they weren't that close while she was there but there was definitely a vibe longing looks stares from across the room there's something about women that just get these instincts like women and gut feelings there's something going on there and i know that she felt a vibe she felt the chemistry why else would she have unfollowed sydney when she came back and posted all of that on her stories if gigi hadn't gone to sydney and almost confirmed it for us i wouldn't believe it but because gigi literally herself went to sydney experienced life with them for two weeks and then came back and thought no i'm out i have to believe it i have to believe it then she also posted this video of her walking on instagram looking very hot very amazing and she captioned it know your worth and on to the next but also before she had posted that as she was like like kind of getting her bearings like i think as these allegations were kind of sort of coming out and she had just come back from australia i bet everything was kind of fresh in her mind and everyone around her is telling her like hey babe you're being cheated on i think everything you know she needed a moment to recoup rethink revitalize and she posted a picture looking once again hot and said never better and i think she had then like a few days of thinking looking sleuthing decoding what she saw in sydney it's funny that they're like in sydney and it's sydney so i'm starting to get a bit confused and then she posted that video saying you know know your worth onto the next like she had come to her conclusion and i'm coming to my conclusion too she was being cheated on allegedly now there is some more tea because obviously now Gigi has left but Gigi and glenn were just boyfriend and girlfriend but then we have the other side of the story which is sydney has a fiance who she would possibly maybe get married to and i found it on evmagazine.com it says it seems jonathan likes to stay away from the limelight and this theory is further proven by sydney's own statements about dating i don't date people in the spotlight i don't date actors or musicians or anyone in entertainment because i can just be normal sid that way and it's easiest i have a great support system however this was a year ago like i feel like her career is really taken off and i know that a year ago she was also massive but i feel like since then it has really ramped up and i just feel like maybe things change you know you sometimes you say stuff and then things change you meet someone chemistry's out of this world and your mind gets changed you know i wouldn't take this as like this is how she's gonna be for the rest of her life no no i'm never dating actors because if she meets an actor that she truly falls in love with then the whole thing falls apart and clearly that's what's happened Sydney has been linked to Jonathan since 2018, marking 2023 as their fifth year together. Five years. Their engagement was announced last year and the White Lotus star was even spotted out with a diamond ring on her left hand. And despite what you may hear online about Jonathan and Sydney, it seems they're still going strong. However, April 23rd, I saw Dumas posted this picture of Jonathan with bags carrying stuff out the house that him and Sydney share while she's, you know, doing her promo for her movie and it says on tuesday after denying any relationship trouble sweeney's fiance jonathan davino seemed to be heading for the hills looking downcast and wearing dark sunglasses davino who also acts as a producer on anyone but you that's insane that's the movie they're filming insane was seen piling a number of belongings into his suv including the couple's dog a pitbull cross named tank he's taking the dog too that's when you know things are getting tough it comes just a few days after the couple denied their relationship was on the rocks following intense media speculation and then april 23rd dumas also posted let's gossip to get our heart rates up someone said sydney sweeney and glenn powell what's going there with glenn's girlfriend and dumas says sydney just bought a house with her fiance which would be an odd move for someone stepping out don't you think so they just bought a house together they have a dog together they're engaged probably soon to be married they've been together five years and yet, rumors of something up between leads of a romantic drama is X and PR true or not. So some people think this is like fake and that her and Jonathan are gonna get back together and that's gonna be perfect. And Gigi Paris maybe just wasn't okay with the PR. Like she maybe at first was okay and then it started happening and she was like, oh, I'm not okay. I'm not comfortable with this. And Dumas says, I mean, if don't worry, darling, to us anything. So I think this whole thing, like I personally wouldn't tolerate this and hence why I'm not going to date actors i don't know but yeah i just want to know and i don't think they'll ever confirm that they were or were not cheating whether they end up in a relationship or not i don't think this is ever like something that we're gonna have confirmed but it's confirmed in my mind because i'm not blind or stupid but yeah that's it subscribe with the bell icon for engagement and i'll see you in my next one bye guys